Hey -o. Today we're doing Raiden. So we've done Scorpion, we've done Sub Zero, we are now doing Raiden. Now I'm gonna say this right here, right now. I'm making all these videos at one time. It is exhausting. Um, <laughs> like, well, not exhausting. It's actually pretty chill. It's just I wasn't expecting myself to make all these videos at once. But it's fine, bro. This game looks beautiful. Okay. Anyhow, let's get straight to it. Raiden. Raiden, the nerd of the combat series. I hate him as a person. Well, not a person. I just hate him as a character. He just seems so nerdy to me. Like a wizard. He just like he wants to be inside of like Dungeons and Dragons, you know. Anyhow, the variant of Raiden that I use is another default variant. Basically, it's the Inkanda and Sense. Incandescence. I don't care if that <laughs> Um That's the variant I use for Raiden. My combos with them, and they're cool. They're chill. Um, I have a couple of corner combos that we should start to eat that. Or that. <laughs> they're both the same. But they look different. Now, I have one problem with Raiden, but I've never known how to finish. I don't know how to. I never know how to finish these combos, so a lot of them will end up with me finishing them with uppercut. Just a flat out. Boom! Boom! There we go. Look at that bang up stuff here on the blue. That's it. There's a lot of them finished up for like the added damage, you know? It's not that bad. So, let me just show you guys some combos. You have the low thought up here. Another high to low thought up. It, it flops every now and then. Um, <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> I never know when it's okay for me to use it. I think when I'm best far away, I can do it. That combo seems to only work for me when I'm at the further distance. Otherwise, I have to wait until he falls down like he actually falls down. Yeah, I would have to wait. Okay. Which isn't too bad, in all honesty. Just a simple thing. think. Ah, trying to wait is gonna it's fucking with my timing. Just just whatever you guys do, just try to get the axe hit from the maximum. I mean the pole hit from the maximum distance. The high hit actually. Try to get it from the maximum distance. And then you the combo to go through without too much of a deal. It's a great combo to get people to the corner. That's where I focus with Raiden is um cornering people. So I can do my corner combo because it actually get me gets me a lot more of my damage off. So let's get to the simple mid mid screen combo. Alright, mid screen combo. Back X square. Back X square. You guys just fine. You need to go down back. Um, down back triangle and meter burning. This is why I say that. Down back triangle. Great move. Just alright damage. You know? But it does good. It's a good combo. Um continue. You know, it keeps the combo going. And the best thing about it, you can actually double up on it. You can do it twice. Unlike Sub Zero's freeze, if you hit somebody twice with Sub Zero's freeze, well, it won't freeze anymore. You're just getting pushed back. You can double up on Raiden's electricity. I'm gonna pick up a move this time. Alright. Finish your. No. Where's the beer? You don't want to amplify your storm cell. You want to need these. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Alright. Towards you circle. And these towards you triangle. Now, I think what I go to them with uh, like a lot, they boost all damage. There we go. See? As opposed to just doing this, they boost the damage of your electricity attack. It seems. And I have no evidence to prove. Well, I have evidence to prove. I have no. Certified wording to prove this, at least I haven't seen it, but if you look at this attack, it does 70 right there. This attack, it does 70. Kick does 70. So logically, if I do all of the same moves, they all do the same damage. Kick does 159. Knee, 166. More 169.64. The punch, 59.64. You see, 
those two moves that whenever he goes into electricity mode, which I'm calling, you get a little bit more damage with his electric, his electric attack. Which is really special moves. So, first combo. Down back, X, square. And you're gonna use the one though. Hey. You're gonna now what you're gonna do now, you're gonna try to buy time. You wanna jump and punch him. The triangle. Right before he falls down. You do it too early, you can't continue the combo. You probably can't be timing right, but it's much harder. Do it on time, and right when he falls down, you do it. Check it out. Right when you start falling, falling down. Then you're gonna go, you're gonna dash to him with a forward triangle. You can save your damage off and boost your next opponent. Oh, no. Like that. Now, that's where I come in with the confusion. You see, this thing, this part is gonna come up back right nice to me. I can actually finish it off with a nice and simple uppercut. I tried getting the, the lovely back square triangle with um, square X for the nice damage. Uppercut does more damage though, naturally, but it just looks cool, you know, because it goes full across the map. But that's fine. I've tried it before, I just, no matter how often, how hard I try to dash. Oh, I did it! Oh, yeah. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. again. Oh, you the wrong one. Yeah, okay, never mind. That's my problem. That was my problem. And if you try to do that, the grab doesn't hit. You just lose a lot of damage. All right. So yeah, just sit with the uppercut. Just boom. Just dash up, just uppercut. Dash up, uppercut. Get that, get that down back, and you're good. You're just fine. Yeah. All right. Next, the pole. Maximum distance you can. Maximum distance. Oh, I can't. What do you know? All right. So this pole is gonna hit every now and then whenever it fucking wants to hit. <laughs> We're just, that's the stupid thing. I gotta see what's wrong with what makes my timing work and what doesn't make my timing work right there. Just, if you gotta see that, if practice come on, you gotta see what makes it work and what doesn't, you know, get it back. You just know, it's a very simple combo. You just gotta pull, storm sail. By the way, the pole is just towards you square square. Tourism square square. I should pick that move on here too. Tourism square square. Where is it? Here it is. Don't use the triangle one because you can't, you can't count that. Yeah, just a waste of time. So, throw your square square, cancel it into storm tail, get him with the storm knee, storm tail, and then you get him with the pirate in charge. That simple. Make sure you amplify every special move you use for this man. Even this guy. So, why do I love that combo so much? Because that's one of my favorite combos I use on people. Whenever I do play this guy, allow me to demonstrate. I go to refill. We're pretty much in the corner now, you know. We're not in the corner. Me, I'm in the corner. There you go. We're in the corner now. So why does that make it? Why is it so awesome? I do shit like this. Nice 402 damage for just something that's so simple. Why? It, it looks almost identical to what I used to do and what I did earlier. Well, what's different? The high kick. Because the high kick does a good amount more damage than my fucking my knee. 20 damage. But, you know. Can't get mad about it. So what's the problem with that? Why can't you do it in the middle? Oh, he falls too fucking far. I've tried dashing and he falls down. I've tried dashing and a neutral kick falls down. This doesn't work. It's stupid. Get over here. Alright. So, what's this combo? Yeah, remember that? Yeah, yeah, I do. You guys remember this right here. Quite literally, literally, that combo. With an added piece of damage. The kick. So, what you gonna do the kick? Do the kick? Oh no. Put me on her. Just put me on her. <laughs> no, not the left. Woo. Get the kick. You don't want to turn around with it. You can't continue it. Just get the kick off. And then do that shrink. 
Back X square. Continue. Continue on with your storm sail. Continue on with your storm sail. Up to the temple, get in the air. You know, keep it obvious. You guys got it. The only thing is that you don't really, you don't punch him this time, you know. You don't jump and punch him this time. The reason is because he's too short, so if you jump, he's too short. He's too low on the ground. If you jump and punch him at this time, you will gain literally, you won't be able to come up after that, so it's pointless. Next corner combo. Yes, I make, he's my, he's one of my last characters I learned. I want to learn a bit more of corner combos. I wanted to switch some things up because I've always had a lot, nothing but mid combos that work in the corner too. But I want to see, see if I can, you know, specifically make something in the middle. I mean, makes combos for those spots. So check me out. Yeah, it's not as much damage as this guy. But that's perfectly fine. I like the fact that it looks like I'm doing a whole lot more work. You know? You can jump up in the air and shit, man. It looks real cool. And it's all hard hitting attack here. You know? I think you can switch it around. I'll switch it right around. I might be able to switch that right there. Yeah. Wrong buddy. <laughs> Now, I think I might have tried that earlier when I was first making this combo. Yeah. But yeah. Alright. Jump kick. High kick. Remember when I told you guys I made a lot of my combos in Sub-Zero? Where, well, people in general were like, based off of high kicks. Yeah, yeah. You guys remember that high kick right there. Nah, I might get a hit. Yeah, but that that's the much harder. Because the high kick, it kicks them up. Gets a bit more air on them. I got a bit more combo I can do with that. Then again, I could go ahead and go. Oh, I turn ah, I remember my problem. It wasn't. It wasn't like consistent enough. Yeah, it wasn't consistent enough. That's a good amount of damage, though. You can't hit it. Fuck game. I know you guys are hearing me, but I'm pressing. I'm trying to get it to go through immediately. Yeah, it's just not consistent enough to actually be able to match it. So, I'm stick with this guy. The high kick, the jump, and the only reason why you get up out of hand for the extra damage. So simple. Overhead kick from the jump, jump kick. Then you use the neutral circle. And then you get yourself a storm cell in there. Your storm cell. Oh my god. Oh my god. Your storm cell. Right, you took a storm cell in there. Alright. Once the storm cell's in there, you're gonna continue on with another neutral, um, neutral circle. Neutral circle. Another storm cell. Just amplify the storm cell. Yeah. If you have quite a storm cell, you will be just fine. Continue to do whatever you want. Another high kick with upcut. It's all about that damage. But you know, the problem with this combo is that damage returns become very minimal, you know? Very minimal. Look at that. 140. I lost 100 damage from my upcut there. My upcut did 43 damage, you know? But goddamn, that. Well, 40 damage. Just, but goddamn, that this combo looks flashy and sexy. So, just gotta say. That's it. I'm here, red, tall as fuck. Man, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and hope you guys look forward to the next character I will be doing. Which, who will it be? Gears, the man, the myth, the legend. Gears, thanks for the hat tip.